Hey guys, so we're going to be learning about scope in this tutorial and it's not super cool because it doesn't let us do anything extra, but it's just something you have to know because if you don't know about it, it can kind of just mess you up. So let's just go through an example. Hopefully it'll make some sense. So I just have this function here called get age and I declared a variable called age and set it equal to 51 and then I just return that variable. But if I went down here and I said print age, do, do I think 51 will print out? Well, it says that age is not defined. Python doesn't know what age is, even though we declared it up here. And this is because of scope. So functions have their own scope. And that means if you make a variable inside of a function, just like we did here, then that variable cannot be used outside of that function. That's kind of the whole reason we have return statements is because that is what allows us to get the information out. So again, if you make a variable inside of a function, if you don't return it, that means you can't use it anywhere else besides inside that function. So you might think that's kind of dumb. Like, why is this happening? Um, but let me just throw this at you. What if you had two different Python files? but they shared some variable names, like you made the variable age in both files. Well, you don't want those files to like cross over and mess each other up. So there has to be some separation of the names of our variables. So that's why scope comes in. So it's actually pretty nice that the variables we make in functions don't just like junk up the rest of our program. So that might not make a bunch of sense now, but once you work on projects that are thousands and thousands of lines long, you see why it's just essential to have. So I said if we make a variable in a function, the rest of our code can't use it, but can we go kind of backwards? So let me show you what I mean. I'll say my name is Kyle, and then I'll make a function. I'm gonna say def print name, and it's going to print name. So I'm not passing it in as a parameter. I'm just saying print the variable called name. And now that we've made our function, we need to call it through the function call. So if we run this, we see Kyle prints out. And that's because functions get variables from the rest of the file, but it's just not the other way around. It's a one way street. So just to prove it to you, um, I can show you that it doesn't even matter the order. So, you know, if Python's reading top to bottom, when it sees print name here, it doesn't know what name is yet because we declare it a few lines below. But we can still run our code all the same because until this function call happens, we don't care that we don't know what name is. It's not a problem right now. But let's say we inverted these lines. We did our function call first before we declared name that's when our code would break and we'd get that error. So that's scope. It's gonna mess you up at some point. Uh, so this is just kind of a way to learn how to get out of it once you run into that situation. So uh, again, not super cool or anything, but sometimes you just have to learn this stuff. So I hope you learned something. I'll see you guys in the next one.